When we do anything in life, we should always turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should turn back to Allah in all of our affairs. And one of the ways we seek guidance in our affairs, in, in our matters, is through Salatul Istikhara. And Salatul Istikhara is a simple prayer for seeking guidance. Sayyiduna Jabir ibn Abdullah said the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would teach us to perform istikhara in all our matters, just as he would teach us the surahs of the Qur'an. The method of istikhara is very simple and that is to perform two raka'ah nafal of, with the intention of seeking guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the first cycle, it is recommended to recite Surah Al-Kafirun. And in the second cycle, it is also recommended to recite Surah Al-Ikhlas. Now, upon finishing the prayer, you will then recite the Dua of Guidance, the Dua of Istikhara. And before and after the Dua, it is recommended to recite Salawat and Salam upon the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam before and after the dua now in the dua the word anna hadhal amra will appear twice when you when you supplicate this dua the word anna hadhal amra will appear twice now when reciting this whatever purpose you are performing this prayer for when reciting anna hadhal amra keep that purpose in your mind be it work education traveling or marriage it could be anything. Just when reciting these words, keep that purpose in your mind. And, and this is the method of Salat al istikhara to perform two raka'ah nafal and make the dua of guidance. Now, this prayer can be done once or it can be prayed up to seven days. And in fact, it's recommended to perform it up to seven days. Now, after this prayer, people often wait upon a dream. It is not essential for someone to have a dream. Now, this is important for us to understand. It is not essential for someone to have a dream after the istikhara prayer or even a sign. Rather, it is important for us to understand that it is a prayer which takes us towards, which takes you towards that which has khair, that which has goodness for you. Now, if a person does see a vision, does have a dream, now if they see something positive, this would indicate to go ahead with it. If they see anything negative, then this could indicate towards avoiding that. But the sunnah is to perform the istikhara and carry on as per normal, with what you had intended. If there is, if there is goodness for, for you, Allah will create asbab. Allah will create means towards that matter. An example of this is if uh, a person applies for university and uh, before they apply for university, they can perform Salat al-Istikhara. So they'll perform two raka'ah nafal, make dua, and then send the application. Now, if there is goodness for it, it, it will go ahead. Allah will create asbab, Allah will create means towards that. And if there's no khair in it, Allah will not create means towards that. So you'll perform istikhara and then continue and you carry on with what you uh, have intended. Now we know the method of istikhara. The question is, when can we pray these two raka'ah nafr of istikhara? Now the answer is, it can be performed throughout the day except for the three makruh times, the dislike times. And they are number one, from sunrise till the sun has risen. And this is approximately 20 minutes. Number two is at the time of zawal, when the sun is above your head, so midday. And number three is 20, approximately 20 minutes before the maghrib prayer. But generally, if a person wanted to make the dua of istikhara, they can make the dua of istikhara any time throughout the, the day. And in fact, this has been the practice of many saints to pray the istikhara prayer. 
and, and to, to, to supplicate the, the dua of, of istikhara uh, at the beginning of the day. Now, just like we have awrad and we have, we have uh, different types of uh, adhkar, we should also include the dua of istikhara. When the saints would 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 uh, make this prayer and they would they would supplicate to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala by reciting the du'a of istikhara, then they would ask Allah to give them and guide them towards that which is good for them throughout the day, and to keep away all evil from them. So if we bring this into our daily practice to recite the dua of istikhara then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide us towards that which is good for us uh, in that day and all those things which are negative for us and, and are not uh, khair for us they will uh, be avoided inshallah <laughs>